Hello, and today I'm here reviewing probably one of the most important middle grade books of our generation, and that is Shiloh. And this book came out last year, and it's called A Shiloh Christmas, and this is the conclusion to the story. So, in the past three books, we have seen Judd Travers really change as a person, and how the community views him, and how Marty views him, and kind of how their relationship has evolved. So, in this book, it's a continuation of that, but it also shows that um, even though Judd was a product of his father's um, cruelty, uh, his father beat him, took a belt to him severely, we also see a new type of... Um, child rearing that is almost a flip side and that's because a new pasture comes into town in this book and he is so hard on his daughters that although he doesn't lay a hand on them he does really really harsh punishments like he locks them in buildings and drives away or he makes them stand in ice water things like that so um he come to find out he's like the the exact opposite of Judd. They're the same coin, but different sides of that coin. Um, Judd was a product of being beaten all the time. And the new pasture, on the other hand, had a harsh childhood where his father was always about sin. And you're going to go to hell if you don't live like this, this, and this. So he constantly was berating himself about sin. And as a pastor, he does the same thing to his flock. So really excellent novel. Um, it really shows quite a bit of depth. And might I just say that this is one of the most accurate um, representations of West Virginia's population that I have ever seen. Um, that's what initially drew me to the Shiloh books, was that they was based in West Virginia. And the, um, attitude and the way Marty treats his neighbors and things like that, that's so, it's, it's, it's so common here. You hear about Marty's father getting loaves of banana nut bread in the mailbox or, a loaf of bread or whatever, but people around here, if they really do grow extra things in their garden or whatever, they just give it to their neighbors. It's not unheard of to just deal out kindness like that all the time. So that was another beautiful, beautiful moment in this book for me. I really loved seeing West Virginia in a positive light. So anyway, I give this book 5 out of 5 stars. It's fairly short. It is a great chapter book for kids. And this to me is another classic, clean, great middle grade book. If your kid does not like fantasy, because some kids don't. My sister does not like fantasy at all. But something like Shiloh, just fiction that is age appropriate goes a long way. This is the best piece of fiction for middle graders that I have ever seen. So anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you soon.